What's going on guys? Welcome back to another ratings review for NHL 21. Today we're looking at the top 10 centers and NHL 21 is actually out right now at EA Access. So later today or tomorrow I'll actually have my ratings review for the entire roster in NHL 21. But so now for you guys with the top 10 centers at number one, no surprise, Connor McDavid. 95 overall, not only makes him the highest rated player in the game, it actually makes him too high than the next best player, which is Crosby and Ovechkin, both tied 93 overall, which kind of shows you just how much better McDavid is from the rest of the pack. Now, obviously, at number two there, we have Sidney Crosby, 93 overall, same as Ovechkin. I think that's a pretty good rating for Crosby. I feel Ovechkin probably should be a 92. The guy number three on this list, McKinnon, who is a 92, I feel should be 93. If not 94, I think McKinnon's that good. Um, definitely at this point in their careers, as good as Crosby. I know there's a bit of a legacy rating that goes on. As I mentioned before, I feel like the rating should be 50-50. One half career, how good they are. One half how good they did last season. And at that point, I think McKinnon still is a 93. So he should be a bit higher, I think, tied with Crosby. Then you have Dreisel at number four, 92 overall. So, I mean, Edmonton now has two of the best forwards in the game, let alone centers. Hopefully they can kind of redo what Pittsburgh did, of course, with Crosby Malkin as their one-two punch. So far, not the case, but uh, maybe they can make it happen. Uh, I think definitely probably the highest rated German player ever at 92 overall. Well deserved. Uh, won Art Ross, Ted Lindsay, Hart last year. Um, I obviously am a huge fan of him. Try Saddle 3. It sucks he couldn't be number 3 on this list, but... But I feel like the three guys ahead of him are definitely deserving. Uh, number five, you have Patrice Bergeron. So I think Bergeron 91 overall is a little high for me. Obviously, he still is one of the best two-way centers in the game. Um, always, you know, a consideration for the Selkie Trophy. Great defensive play. But uh, 91 overall at this point in career, he's still putting up a decent amount of points. I think a 90 would be pretty fair for him. Uh, then next time you have Jack Eichel, 91 overall. I really like Jack Eichel. And I think last year he's actually a bit underrated. I forget what they had him, like a high 80. Then he's kind of slowly went up during the year. Um, thing is, I don't know. I think Eichel's rating is a bit high when compared to the other players. Like one less than Saddle. I don't know about that. And then you look at the other guys, I'm not going to mention yet who's higher than. I think so. Based on that, I think Eichel should probably be a 90. Uh, Malkin there, 91. Malkin's still a very good player. Um, again, this is probably more heavily on his career than last season, although last season he was pretty good too. Uh, so Malkin, honestly, 91, I don't mind. Uh, there's points in his career, he was the best player in hockey, in my opinion. And people are saying he's slowing down, but if you look at last year, he still had like, I want to say 70-something points, uh, so about a point per game. Um, 91, I think, is pretty fair for Malkin. Plus, people forget, he is, you know, pretty good physical player. He's a big body guy. Then number eight, you have Alexander Barkov. Definitely no longer the number one underrated player in the league. Everyone knows how good this guy is. Um, it is surprising to me that Huberdeau is rated higher than Barkov. Um, that was the case in NHL 20 after the roster updates. Um, it's still the case now in NHL 21. I don't know. I feel like if you ask the Florida Panthers management, the team, Barkov is the best player on that team. So it's a little weird that Huberdeau is rated higher. And I did mention how I thought, you know, Huberdeau should have been a 90. Um, Barkov at 90, I think you know, pretty fair. If anything, make him a 91. I think he's that good, but uh, 90 is probably an okay rating. I think you have Steven Stamkos at number 9, 90 overall. Yes, you know, he only played one playoff game, but the one shot he took, he scored, won a Stanley Cup. Uh, during the regular season, he was one of the best players this year, averaged over a point per game. When he's healthy, he is still a top 10 center, in my opinion. So 90 overall for Stamkos, I think is a fair rating. Now, number 10, least fans aren't going to like this one. Austin Matthews, also a 90 overall. So you got Barkov, Stammer, Matthews, all tied there. I'm curious if there's any other 90 overalls that, you know, are number 11, number 12, not quite making the list. So Matthews at 90 overall, I think would be fair if it wasn't for the other player ratings I'm looking at. Like Patrice Bergeron, Austin Matthews, I think you could argue one to one, Matthews is the better player. Matthews might not be as good defensively as Bergeron, but he's still a very good two way center. Regardless of age, I think I'd rather have Matthews on my team and then Patrice Bergeron. So I feel like in that case, Matthews should be 91, Bergeron a 90. Same goes for Jack Eichel. There was always that debate, you know, who's better between Eichel and Matthews. And the slight edge almost always goes to Austin Matthews. If anything, I would have them tied. So again, Matthews should be at least a 91. Melkin 91, a lot older, a bit of a different conversation, but I think, yeah, M Matthews, they definitely did dirty here. He should be at least a 91. Uh, he was on the cover again this year. You know, he'd probably be like a 92, uh, tied with McKinnon and Dreisaddle. So overall, um, not a bad list. Again, I said it for the left wingers, being a little bit nitpicky, but definitely some things that would change. They were near as bad as the defense list or the goaltending list. I am curious to see where some guys are that aren't on this list. Uh, guys like Peterson, I feel has to be at least an 89. Braden Point better be at least an 89. Both those guys honestly could be 90s. Uh, Schleifley's another guy who should be at least an 89, maybe a 90. Those are kind of just some guys I think could be pushed onto this list. 
Um, if I had to take someone off for them, again, Bergeron, I think, is a little bit too high for me. He's not a top five center in the game at this point, in my opinion. Uh, Matthew's a bit low. Stammer, I know some people are going to want to take off. I don't know. There's a lot of really good centers, so curious to see how some of those other guys are rated. Again, game just came out. I think I literally just finished installing it. So I'll have that video with all the rating reviews later today. If you guys enjoyed this one, leave that thumbs up. Also, if you're excited for NHL 21, leave that thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do that. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.